Enough. <laughs> Their expert witness was completely witless. Our video of the day comes to us from the hallowed halls of Congress, where Senator John Kennedy <laughs> schooled pro skier Gus Schumacher, what a name, a young man brought in by the Democrats to be an expert witness on climate change. Roll it, Francine. What is carbon dioxide? <laughs> I'm, I went to high school, but that's, uh, carbon dioxide is a, a gas. Okay. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a professional to talk about carbon dioxide so much, but. Well, you, you want us to abolish it, right? No, I, <laughs> there's always going to be carbon dioxide. Right. So, so what is it you want us to do? I. No, no, let me back up, because I, I want to, I mean, you're here as an expert. Tell me more about what carbon dioxide is. I'm here as an expert cross-country skier who sees the changes in my winters and the landscape that I live in in Alaska. And so carbon dioxide is what I see it as is, you know, it's a gas that exists in our atmosphere. And what, is it the major part of our atmosphere? Or? It's a huge part of our atmosphere, yeah. It's actually a very small part of our atmosphere. <laughs> Oh, we tricked him. <laughs> oh, the most stunning thing about this skier's testimony, not once did he use the word dude. <laughs> Got worse, though. How much will it cost for us to uh, become carbon neutral in the United States by 2050? I'm not a professional on that. I don't have an answer. You don't have any idea? No. You, you just think we ought to spend the money? I'm not an economist. It's going to cost trillions of dollars to become carbon neutral by 2050, right? I do not know. You don't know. You just think we ought to do it. I, I don't have a great answer for you. You don't know? No. You just think we ought to spend the money and then see what happens? I think as an athlete, I think if we spend that money and invest in our future, hopefully those temperatures stop rising. I think as an athlete... Your first mistake. <laughs> that was embarrassing, and I'm sure Democrats could have found a much better expert on white powder. <laughs> but... <laughs> Finally, Senator Kennedy brought up the young man's past tweets. On August 27th of 2020, you tweeted this, quote, I'm going to quote, Police are paid with taxpayer dollars. If they are not answerable to us, we can demand new service, and that's what this is. Abolish the police in favor of that new service, end quote. You think we ought to abolish the police, do you? Again, not the topic I'm here to talk about today. I know, but, but you tweeted it. Do you think we ought to abolish the police? That's not what I'm here to talk about. Should we do that before or after we get rid of fossil fuels? I'm not going to address that. Mm, well, for a professional skier, it was all downhill. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for next week when the Dems bring in a professional skateboarder to lecture us about Hamas. <laughs> Charlie, I kind of felt bad for him, but then again, I'm thinking, if the Dems bring him in as a credible witness... It's on them, and they just basically served him up on a platter. Oh, yeah, he was a complete pawn for the Democratic Party. I actually do feel bad for him. I just, it was seven minutes long. When, when the link was sent, I was like, oh, seven minutes. You know how we all have ADD. Yeah. That was the quickest seven minutes of my life. That was so entertaining. I watch a lot of reality TV. That was one of the most entertaining things I've seen in so long. Mm. But just to give everyone an idea of how bad it went for him, and he realized it, he deleted his Twitter account, his ex account, instantly afterwards. <laughs> I guarantee you he's still having nightmares, but truly, he knows about climate change just as well as any of the other Democrats that are pushing the $94 trillion green agenda. They have no idea what they're talking about. First, they were worried about acid rain, then it was global cooling, then it was global warming. Now it's some vague idea of climate change. They want tons of money for it, and uh, this was their expert for it, so good luck to you getting the job done. You know, Kat, I can't help but think he would have been a barrel of laughs. You know, at, at the lodge, <laughs> <laughs> slinging back some. Yeah, I'm sure at least he thinks he is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, he didn't listen. He did not do well. He should have been uh, at least trained better to deflect. Uh, yes. <laughs> although the one thing I got to say, I did not enjoy the bringing up of the tw old yes. tweets. Yeah. Because he's only 23 now. So these tweets, he was pro he was a teenager when he yeah. was tweeting this stuff. I am, I am, I think that is so bad for society to bring up things people were posting as teenagers. I mean, mine mm -hmm. I, it was a lot of emo lyrics. <laughs> like, a lot of emo. Like, I would be there in Senator County and be like, oh, I, you, on June 4th, 2008, you posted, I just want to break you down so badly. Like, are you <laughs> violent? And because he wouldn't know what Taking Back Sunday is, just like you guys don't, because you're all in your 50s and you probably were too popular to be emo. <laughs> um, I was an Evanescence girl. Oh, really? There you go. Yeah, no, not, yeah, I, I was real <laughs> shrouded in sadness. But I think it's really bad for society to have, you know, tweets from when you're a teenager make you look like an idiot. I think he did that all on his own with the other stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Joe, um, the fact is, it's like he's a cross country skier and he notices that the snow's different. <laughs> he notices things. Yes, yes, he notices things. You know, I wanted to hate him uh, because he's very good looking and that pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel bad because he probably came in there thinking, oh, I'll say the nice things. We don't want the world to end yeah. and all that. And then you don't know what carbon dioxide is. I mean, come on. It's carbon monoxide and it's two of them. That's all <laughs> <you're doing. laughs> But this, this shows like, what are these congressional hearings with yes. special celebrity guest stars <laughs> like it's the love boat? Mm -hmm. It's just wasting time. You, yeah. don't, you wouldn't say, uh, we have a climate expert. Let's put him on the top of the mountain and see how he handles his black diamond on the way down. <laughs> it's idiotic. It, it reminds me of when there's a storm and they take the meteorologist and they put them out there and they're getting sliced in half by a stop sign. It's like, we'll believe you that yeah. there's a storm out there. <laughs> yes. You don't need to do this. So yeah, I, I felt bad for him, but it, at least he's, he said, I'm not an expert, which you didn't get that from Greta Thunberg. Yeah. And also, yeah. he's a high school graduate and he didn't get that from her yeah. either. That is yeah. true. That Poor is Greta true. Thunberg. <laughs> Yes. Oh, she hasn't called me in weeks, Tom. You know, uh, we paid probably paid for his airfare, his hotel. We paid for all of that. Yes. And uh, you look, I, I know athletes don't usually do that great under questioning, but OJ was better on the stand. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You're setting the bar I mean, pretty high. He, he was better on the stand than a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> he should have gone total Spicoli, though. It would have been charming if he was like, oh, it's a gas, man. It's yeah, I agree. It's I agree. A gas. Should have had pizza delivered. I agree. <laughs> I, he should have just leaned in. Yeah, that <laughs> was different, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. He should have said, dude, yeah. you know, what's your problem, man? Just having some fun, dude. Skiing sucks right now. Yeah. I could totally watch a cop buddy show with those two. <laughs> Senator Kennedy oh, yeah. and the Jeff Spicoli guy oh, solving yeah. crimes at, at resorts. Yeah. Oh, man. That, I would watch the hell out of that. Is cross-country skiing a sport, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I don't think so. Yeah. No, I don't think, I think that's a subject to debate. All right. Up next, is bullying the beginning of a lifetime of winning? <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.